Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to replace the sky in an image using Luminar for Android. Now, as you can see, I have an Android device. I'm going to tap on the Luminar icon to open Luminar, and then I'm going to tap on File Manager. In my File Manager, manager I have a number of different images. The fourth image from the left, I'm going to tap on that. And once it opens, you'll notice that it's a cityscape but there's just blue sky. It's a perfect image to have the sky replaced in. Now, not only do I have the plain blue sky in this image, but I have a reflection that I have to take care of as well, because obviously once I put clouds up in that sky, those clouds need to be reflected in the water below. Now, this is a totally unedited RAW file, and I recommend that if you are going to replace the sky in an image using Luminar, for Android that you do it first, then do all your editing on top of it. So you're editing the image and the clouds together. So to replace the sky in this image, on the left-hand side at the very bottom is the tool to do that. Just tap on that and you'll have a sample of skies over on the right-hand side. And what you wanna do is you want to find a sky that matches not only in like the tone, meaning the colors, meaning I don't wanna put a sunset in here with oranges and yellows it wouldn't look right we need something that's like you know blue kind of midday sky and also the lighting you want to make sure that the light is at the same angle as it is uh for the actual day you were there right now it looks like that the sun was behind me when i took the shot so i need clouds that look like they're front lit and i think maybe this uh second one from the top looks pretty good so you could see that there's a number of different ones here though so I'll just go back and that second one from the top, I'll just tap on that. And you'll notice it kind of jogs over to the left and then at the top, you see that little kind of spinning circle. That means that the sky is going to get replaced. Not only did it replace the sky, but it also put the reflection in there as well. It's as easy as that. It's probably the easiest sky replacement I've ever you know, dealt with. It's just super easy and it's all automatic. Now we could do our editing. To do our editing, we'll go to the tool on the left-hand side that's right in the middle. Tap on that, and we'll have our tools. And you can see that we have Enhance AI. This, uh, If you want to go very quickly, just move this to the right, and you can just do a quick edit on the image. But I'm not going to do Enhance AI on this, so I'll turn this down. And by the way, I do have a video on YouTube demonstrating how to do editing using Luminar for Android. I'll have that video linked in the description below this video. So instead of using Enhance AI, I'm just going to go through the tools very quickly and do an edit on this. Below that, we have light, and you can see that exposure is right in the middle. So if exposure was off, I could fix that. Uh, I think it's fine. If you need to reset one of these sliders, just double tap it and it will reset. Now for this specific uh, image, I think the highlights need to pull, be pulled down a bit and the shadows opened up a bit. Maybe the highlight's not that much. Then I'm gonna get a white point by pushing this up and a black point by pulling this down a little bit. Then we'll scroll down. I'm not going to do anything with contrast. I do want to add a little bit of, maybe a little bit of warmth to it, the color temperature, but not that much, just a little bit. Something like that. And then we'll scroll down a little more. And we'll go to saturation. And I'm going to add a bit of saturation by pushing this to the right. You see, if you go up and down, it's vibrance. If you go left and right, it's saturation. So I'm going to add a little bit of vibrance and saturation to it. And then scroll down a little more. We'll add a little texture. And I don't think I need to relight it. Uh, I'm going to leave that alone, but I am going to add a darker vignette to it. Something like that. Of course, there isn't a person in it, so I don't need to worry about taking care of their skin or their body. Uh, landscape, we could see if we enhance foliage. There's really barely any foliage in the, in the image. And down here is dehaze. So I could add haze, or I could remove haze and I think that looking pretty that is looking pretty good and then we have this golden hour look I'll just tap that up a little bit 
And that's it. I think details are pretty good. Maybe we'll just add a little bit of small details to the image. And finally, we'll just sharpen it a touch. And I don't want it in black and white, so we're not going to do anything with that last control. And there's my edit. I replaced the sky, and I did a full edit in really less than a minute. If I, if I wasn't talking, it definitely would have been less than a minute. But you can see how fast and easy this is to do using Luminar for Android. Now, again, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to the video I did where I introduced Luminar for Android and demonstrated how to use all of the um, controls on the right-hand side, plus how to use the um, removal tool, the eraser on the left, and some other things as well. Also, I have a link to Skylum's website, and you could check out uh, Luminar for Android. And, of course, they have it for iPad as well, uh, so you could check those out. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.